it's never too early to take a peek at the 2019 NFL draft. And here's a look at some of the top prospects that I'll be keeping a watchful eye on as we head into the 2018 season. We'll start off with the quarterback position and down in Lake Charles, Louisiana at McNeese State. They have a really good one in James Tabari. The former Arkansas State Red Wolf has gotten better each and every season for McNeese State, playing winning football for them as he's tossed over 6,300 yards in his career. He also has an impressive 2-1 to touchdown interception ratio and placement is his strongest attribute as a quarterback and I'll be looking forward to seeing how the rest of his game progresses as a senior. And he has an absolute stud in the backfield in David Hamm, the 6'1", 222 pound tailback finished last season with just over 800 yards rushing and six touchdowns. He's a bigger back with top notch footwork and looks to be a guy that can carry the load for a team. I think his game is very similar to that of former NFL player Rashad Jennings. Cedric Battle of Central Arkansas has the versatile skill set that professional teams would covet. He's able to play both tailback and receiver in my opinion and is in the mold of current Seattle Seahawks player J.D. McKissick. Battle also brings tremendous value as a kickoff and punt returner. And speaking of punt returner, Devion Davis is the best in the FCS after averaging an eye-popping 21.3 yards of punt return. What's great about his game is the multiple ways he can get a release off the line of scrimmage. He can win outside, inside, and is one of the more dynamic talents in the subdivision. Cody Edwards of Incarnate Word missed all of last season and still enters this year as a preseason second team all-conference player. He's got that cat-like quickness to create separation both before and after the catch. And I'm a big fan of the athleticism of Damien Jean-Pierre of Nichols. He's also an outstanding player after the catch as well. He averaged 19.3 yards per catch last season for the Colonels and is looking to crack the 1,000-yard barrier as a senior. Nichols also has a really good offensive lineman prospect in Chandler Arsenal, who's an excellent athlete. The same can be said for Sam Houston State's Mitchell Watanabe, who's one of the best offensive linemen in the FCS. And Watanabe's teammate, Chris Stewart, is looking to follow the footsteps of P.J. Hall, who went to the Oakland Raiders in the 2018 NFL Draft. Stewart was excellent last year, finishing with 66 tackles and 12 and a half sacks, both of which earned him All-American honors. When you look at the closing speed that Kenny Dotson of Nichols brings off the edge, you have to be impressed. A 6'3", 250-pound senior can play with his hand on the ground or as a stand-up edge rusher. He's going to have a big-time senior season for the Colonels. Central Arkansas's Eric Jackson has made a living behind the line of scrimmage for the Bears. He's racked up over 25.5 TFLs and 15.5 sacks in his Bear career. McNeese State's linebacker B.J. Blunt is the ideal backer in today's game. He's rangy, athletic, and is an explosive tackler upon contact. Blunt shows really good ability as a pressure player as well and has a good all-around game to be an impact player on both ends of defense. Cornerback Raphael Lewis is one of the premier players for the Houston Baptist Huskies. He has a knack for finding the football as well, picking off four passes last year, bringing two back to the house for touchdowns. And Nichols has another player on this list in safety, Corey Abraham. Now, Abraham is a really good safety prospect that can play either free or strong. He was in on 59 solo stops last year and has a high-level football IQ to hold his own on the back end. So that's a wrap from Football Game Plan's FCS kickoff. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to the FCS Opening Drive podcast on iTunes and also on SoundCloud, where Dave Passhagen and myself dive deeper into the world of the FCS. And don't forget to subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network on YouTube, where you can find all of our FCS video content at youtube.com slash football game plan.